Good evening, and thank you for tuning in to Vet for Life from Rants from a Vet at gmail.com. Please make sure you like the video, share it, and click the notification bell. So, I want to say Happy Veterans Day and thank you for your service to our nation. We are greatly thankful. And Speaking of being grateful, let's talk about veterans finding jobs in the private sector when they get out. And really, they are hopefully already finding a job even before they get out the military. Now, I don't have any charts. I don't have any stats. I'm just speaking from my opinion. I'm just talking about some issues that I want to talk about as if I was in a bar somewhere or a diner, you know, having some coffee or having a beer with my buds, with my fellow vets, or even concerned individuals. He doesn't really have to be vets, but I want to talk about some of the issues that surround vets and us, because I'm a vet and I'm also still in the military, but us finding jobs. Now, I've heard some complaints and they're not all complaints, but really the ones that have found the job they want, they really don't have any problems, as far as I know. But something I hear is, I just haven't found the success in the private sector. And that really makes me wonder, what did they do while they were in the service? Did they go to college? Did they earn a degree? Did they work on a vocational program? All right, so the education benefits have greatly improved over the years. It has expanded to trade schools, vocational schools. And speaking of, of which, the Army, and I know that this is happening at Fort Bliss, Hopefully really soon that it's gonna gonna be army wide. I don't I don't know about branch wide But there is a credentialing program that is separate from getting a Certificate or going to college because you know that if you know anything about the TA or the education system in the army or in the military There are some limitations for example Usually you just, you can't get two bachelors, you can't get two associates. As, as enlisted, officers are, you know, that's a different deal, but I want to talk about enlisted. So, right now, as far as I know from speaking to a college counselor at the Education Center at Fort Bliss, I'm sorry, Fort Hood, I used to be stationed at Bliss, now I'm at Hood that an enlisted person is allowed one certificate, one associates, or one bachelor's, or one master's, like every five years. I think that's what I heard, okay? But most enlisted don't even take advantage of that. And, and I'm not even including the the vocational schools you can get a class in welding you can get an associates in welding or in plumbing some sort of carpentry you can get a certificate degree let's say that you have a bachelor's in english but what are you going to do with that degree unless you need a job that just requires a degree but of course you can go the extra mile and you can get your teaching certificate but what if you need a fallback why would you only depend on that the army offers and when i say the army i kind of mean all the branches right but i do it the army right i'm in the army so you can get a certificate in something and now that the army and hopefully it's going to be branch wide soon that you can get what's called the um get into the um, credentialing program you can be a over 
crane operator you can get a job in information systems i mean i don't have the list in front of me but i will see about adding that into the video but if someone's strongest point in their resume is the military they did something wrong sure it should be part of that but it should not be the strongest point because let me tell you and let me just put it put it into i guess reality supply and demand if i was an employer and i had no appreciation of vets and most probably don't why would i want to hire a vet when i can hire someone straight out of high school with a ged I need just to push buttons. I got two people that need a job really bad and they don't care what it is, but I only need someone who can push buttons, have zero experience. Why would I hire a vet? Why would I want to hire someone that could get me out of my job? Let's give you, let's give you an example. Let's say that Joe Snuffy has a college degree and he's over overqualified himself on his resume. Why would I hire him? Now, there's strategy to it. And I was out of the army from 04 to 07 and I really didn't have a hard time finding a job. And one thing I didn't do is that I did not overqualify myself. If the job said you need X, Y, and Z, I didn't add the entire alphabet on there. Now, if he got lucky because you're the only person that applied, or maybe you were the only one out of five that didn't have a criminal record, hey, you got lucky. Let me tell you a story. I had a neighbor years ago. Retired Command Sergeant Major. He said that when he got hired to working for a hardware store, he didn't put all of his cars onto the table. Because when you do that, then everyone sees what you have. He barely put what he needed. And then when a position came open for a management position, he applied for it, he got it. If I was an employer, why would I want to hire someone who had a college degree and I did not? Service members get some of the best training. Now, I don't have the link on me, but I've seen it. I've done a lot of research and service members are more college educated than just the run-of-the-mill average civilian sector folks maybe that's why we're not getting hired because we're overqualified i have a bachelor's degree and a master's degree in criminal justice and i'm working on a certificate for real estate i will be a real estate sales associate in about six months or so i have to take my last class it is a four-hour college credit class through central texas college that will give me my 150 hours and then i will qualify to take the state and national exam i don't want to be a police officer when i get out i'm going to be disabled i have and it's on my medical records but i have messed up knees my my elbows keep me up at night i'm in pain i have a bulging disc my shoulders hurt all the time i'm 41 years old i might look like i'm in shape but i can't even run to save my life anymore i do push-ups twice a year and that's on the apft and i max it no problem i can climb a rope you ever heard of Applied Fitness Gym at Fort Hood? Well, I can climb that rope that's in that gym. That thing is like two or three stories tall. Man, I can climb that rope like magic. 
it is easy for me because I've I've kept myself in shape at the age of 41 years old. Folks, my fellow veterans, and really, it should really go for anyone, not just veterans, but if you overqualify yourself, why in the heck am I going to hire you when you have more education, better experience than myself? I'm not going to do it. So, when you're applying for a job, do not overqualify yourself. Only put down what you need to put down and then when you get hired and you get in there and you get to know the company and you start making friends, don't make enemies, make some friends, but you know, trust people as far as you can see them and then when a position that you see that you want and it pays more, go for it. Then you put out then you start putting out your information because not everyone can network. Not everyone is going to have those sociable skills where they can network. Not everyone's pretty. Not everyone's tall. Those people seem to get hired. You can look it up. You, you, know, you can go find the references on that. But I'm telling you, do not overqualify yourself or someone who's thinking like me because I'm not saying that they're the enemy, but you have to think like the enemy, right? You know, it's an old Sun Tzu tactic. In the army, you have to think like the enemy. You you, you have to get into the enemy's head. You, you have to be a good poker player. And by throwing out all your cards on the table, you're not going to do that. You're not going to get that job. Well, that's all I have to say. Everyone have a nice weekend especially if you're off maybe you're you're in the military right now and you got a four day well be safe and god bless america hello stay tuned for the army credentialing assistance program information you can pause the video and uh, check this out this is only at fort hood at the moment have a great night